Hi guys, it's Dr. Cody Dukes, and we are back again for another video. Now, before we get started, I wanna just ask you guys if you will take a moment and go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me so much as I work to develop more content for you guys. But with that out of the way, today I wanted to take a moment and I wanted to talk about overcoming your lack of giftedness and talent. And the reason I wanna talk about this is because I've been talking about these things lately, uh, giftedness and being extraordinary. And then I thought about myself and growing up, I didn't feel like I had a lot of gifts. I didn't feel like I had a, a bunch of overwhelming talent to do really anything. And so I thought, why don't I talk about how people can overcome talent or the lack thereof, gifts or the lack thereof, and go on to be extremely great or ext extremely successful. And to do it, I want to talk about a movie called Gattaca. Now, I haven't seen this movie in a really long time, but I'll do my best to give a brief summation of what's important for today's video. In the movie Gattaca, uh, the world is in a time where children are genetically uh, enhanced, for a better word, before birth. So if you want a child to be really smart, you go in and you tell the doctor, I want them to be smart. If you want them to be tall, you tell them that and they'll make them tall. You want them to be a great athlete, you tell them that and they'll make them a great athlete. So all the children, for the most part, are being genetically uh, enhanced. But the main character of this movie, he was one of the last children that was born naturally with no genetic enhancements. And what happens is his parents do that with him and then they get pregnant again and have another child, but with this child, they go ahead and do all the genetic enhancements. And as these kids are growing up, it's already assumed and it's already preached to the main character that he's genetically inferior. And so he and his brother would go about and they would play this game called chicken, where they would get into the sea and they would swim as far as they could. And whoever turned around first to come back because they were tired or they could feel that they were getting tired would be the loser. And the main character would always lose this game to his brother. Always. Why? Because he was genetically inferior. And then one day, the main character finally beats his brother. His brother turns around to go back, but he begins to drown. And when he sees his brother drowning, he swims back and he gets his brother and he takes him back to shore. And then they don't see each other for a really long time until later in the movie, when they're both grown adults and they finally see each other and they play chicken again. And just like before, they go out and they're swimming and the younger, bro the, the younger brother who always used to win asks his older brother while they're swimming, how did you beat me? How is it that you beat me? And he said, it's simple. I didn't save anything for the way back. And his brother turns around to swim back, but just like before he begins to drown and he has to go back and save his brother again. Now, while this has nothing to do with the main plot of Gattaca, this small portion of the movie's plot is what I wanna talk about today. Because there are so many people who are striving for success, who are going out into the proverbial sea of life, but they're saving something for the way back. They're not going all out. They're not putting it all on the line. They're not leaving it all on the court as they would say in basketball. They're saving, it's, it's like they're saving something for the way back. And let me tell you something, it will be hard for you to be extraordinary in life. It will be hard for you to be great in life if you're constantly trying to save something for the way back. This is why, you know, they say, they say it's hard for broke people to save money. Why? Because they don't have anything to save. When you're losing, when you're, when you are not yet successful, what are you, what are you conserving energy for? What are you sleeping extra hours for? <laughs> what do you need to relax for? You're not even stressed. What are you saving for the way back? You know, this reminds me of Cam Newton. He, you know, he's been in the news a lot lately because he got cut from the New England Patriots 
uh, recently in favor of Mac Jones. Roll Tide, by the way. But Cam Newton got cut recently. But what happened to him recently in my, in my mind is just the result of a decision he made a long time ago. See, many years ago, the year Cam Newton won the MVP of the NFL, Cam Newton played in the Super Bowl. And when Cam Newton was playing in the Super Bowl, his team was losing. There came a pivotal play in which I believe defines his career even to this day. And it was a play where the ball was fumbled and Cam Newton had a chance to grab it. But instead of grabbing the ball, Cam Newton saw other players diving and he saw the potential for injury. And instead of diving on the ball and sacrificing himself, Cam Newton chose to save himself at the expense of his team losing the possession. And in my opinion, because Cam Newton did this, his career has been on a downslide ever since. No one has looked at him the same ever since he showed that he was not willing to make the ultimate sacrifice for his team to win. Now, let me say this. Do I think he made the right decision? Probably. This man has a family to feed. He can't do it if his body's injured. But let me say this also. If you're losing, what are you trying to save? What are you trying to save when you're losing? If I was losing, I wouldn't be sleeping every night, at least not eight hours. If I was losing, I wouldn't be laying down uh, in bed getting rest. If I was losing, I wouldn't be getting off uh, after I've worked a regular shift. If I was losing, I would be doing every single thing I could to change my current condition. I wouldn't be saving anything for the way back. You broke, what you saving for? So this is my challenge to you today. I want you to consider in what ways have you been saving for the way back? What is it that you haven't been going all out on, even though you know you've been losing? And once you've identified that thing, I want you to write it in the comments. And over the next week, I want you to work on going all out on that thing to get to the next level. That's the end of this video, but before you go, I want to ask you to like and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you know that this message can help anyone, I want you to do me a favor, and I want you to do them a favor by sharing this video with them. Other than that, I'm out guys, thanks for sticking around.